Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be setting up my February bullet journal spreads. I have got some scrap paper here and I've just decided to sort of stick them down to cover up some giant footprint marks. We've got a sort of Dutch door situation going on. On the left side I've decided to do a column with just the days of the week so I can write down any of the important things that are coming up, which is not a lot. I don't have a lot of plans, so it's fine. <laughs> On the right side, I haven't decided what to do just yet. Um, I most likely will do like a shopping list or even just like a expenses list just to keep track of some of the money that I'm spending. We will wait and see, I honestly have no idea. I'm just fixing up some pages with more footprint marks. Um, this is the section where most of, almost every second page has footprint marks, so I've decided to sort of make Dutch doors and cover that up a bit. We've cut off the like top sections of this print, this like mirror frame uh, image, and I'm just sticking them on the side to fill up that gap on the side. Sticking them together trying to make them look cohesive and that they like are meant to be together, you know? I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm just kind of like mishmashing all over the place with these with these images. So, you know, my bullet journal situation is kind of really messy and all over the shop, so most of these footage is going to be on like different angles, different lighting, all over the place. Uh, honestly, I'm just kind of shoving this together and hoping that it works out fine with the images that I have filmed, because I'm like such an on-the-fly type bullet journal -er. and like my- the way my creativity sort of flows is very much so like we'll do one page and then we'll skip five pages forward so okay this is my uh books movies and tv show tracker not really a tracker it's more or less like i write a list of the things that i've read and the things that i've watched um i'm hoping that on the like left page i might actually write a little bit more like jotty notes just to sort of keep track of some of my thoughts overall and then like the little column is going to be where I actually write the titles. Honestly, we'll just, I'm filling things out as I go, you know, I might not even touch that page. We'll see. Um, this is me trying to decide what the hell I want to do with all of these monthly, weekly situations. <laughs> um, we're just doing the first week and you can see that I use a, <laughs> my like tripod that I use for overhead shots is literally a close horse. Wow, this is really not a flattering like shot. I, just, I, I probably should cut this out, but I don't have any other images of me doing this part. Oh, we're getting out the stickers now. Uh, decorating, trying to make things look like pretty, you know? I really have not had a chance to use these like vintage signs or any of these other stickers. I've had them for like a year now and I think it's time to start bringing out more brown tones in this spread. I think we're going for more brown, maybe like a little bit of orange. Just kind of keeping them plain and neutral. I use a lot of blacks and then like a pop of color and this time around I just want to keep it neutrals, you know? Orange is probably more of the pop of color that I will be going for but like very minimal, like barely any. <laughs> so for the headers, I like to use my black washi tape. Usually I use my thinner black washi tape, but I have used it all and I only can access them like in a pack and I don't use any of the other colors, so it's kind of pointless. I need to look in better, like look at better washi tape to use. Uh, this like black roll, roll that I'm using also like runs out a lot. Like, it's almost gone now. I'm using a, like, white gel pen that I always smudge. I actually kind of hate using white gel pens just because of the smudge factor and how many times I have to go over it. But um, I love the look of the black header with the, like, white color. So I, I make do. I use them way too much for someone who says that they hate them. <laughs> Bringing out more scrap paper because that's how I bullet journal. I love using different color tones and lots of different like scrap vintage papers. It's so cute. 
I really want to start using more like actual book pages as well, but I'm, I've got a long way to come when it comes to damaging books. <laughs> So we just gone through and filling out the week two. Um, I like to keep my Monday, Tuesdays uh, a full day of planning and then Wednesday, Thursday is more half days and same with the weekend. So we're just doing like a line between um, the like le right side of the flap <laughs> and on the right side of the the right page this does not make any sense you'll see what I mean um I have set days where I do like more things so like on Mondays I go food shopping so I need extra space um on Fridays it's kind of the day where I plan out the future food shopping and I also try and make sure my videos are ready to go so those are like my busiest days um we yeah I'm just writing in the titles man I literally did the titles so like basic, just bold, not even bold, just capital letters in my normal handwriting. I have been so iffy about doing headers for so long, but now I'm just like, fuck it, man. Like I've been doing this for years now. I may as well just get it over and done with. I had this like scrap bit of paper because I love to cut out all of these like separate pages like it's just like a huge like collage page and I cut it out all of the other pages like pieces so I thought I would just like shove this one smack bang in the center because I know that I'm not going to use like a full page for most of the days so I thought I would like minimize it for the middle of the week because I've noticed that midway through the week I don't really use them a lot so yeah, we're just filling it out now with more of the black headers. I did not fill out the next month because, I mean next month, next week, like the fourth week. Because honestly, I barely even get to it. So we're lucky if I even fill out the third week. <laughs> I've decided to do more of like a task rolling weekly type thing again because like I said I barely even use week three I'm trying to get more into keeping myself organized throughout the month I use it non-stop for the first week and then I kind of you know die off with the rest of the week man I really be loving my stickers I really need to get more of these plant ones I keep saying it because like I use them in literally everything and I'm running very low I don't know what I'm gonna do when I don't have any more left so I probably should buy some Okay, on Etsy, that's what I use, Etsy. <laughs> so I yeah, definitely need to buy someone on Etsy soon. Do you guys like my crystals? I just bought them. I don't know what any of them are because I emptied them out of the packet <laughs> before I even got to look at what was what. <laughs> so I did be big, big silly. I don't know what to do with this little piece. I either will use it for that place where I just put them or I'll use them for the fourth week if I end up doing up a fourth week. But yeah, that's my bullet journal, man. I used a lot of like the camera stickers and I had a television in there. And I'm just, you know, basic, plain, easy, done. <laughs> done and dandy. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to fill out half of this shit with because I barely use it. <laughs> and then I just flipped to my YouTube stuff and I wrote down some notes and some videos that I have planned. Um, I'm not going to show you them all because, you know, we got to have things to look forward to. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this at least a little bit. And I hope you have a lovely day. Got to bring the crystals into shot. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>